Hello everyone, welcome back to Victoria 3. Today we will be uniting Italy. Now, I know I've made this video several times before, but the method to form Italy has changed quite a bit in the most recent update, and now I get to show you how to do it again. So, first step to forming Italy, we're gonna take two Sicilies just because it's slightly easier than doing it with Piedmont. Now, in order to form Italy, we're gonna be using a journal event called the Risorgimento, or at least that's the pronunciation I'm going with. The only thing required for us to use this journal entry is to have nationalism, so that is what we will do first. Society tab, research, we're gonna go straight for nationalism, first thing. Second off, we're gonna start improving relations with all of our Italian neighbors. So, Papal States, Tuscany, and Sardinia Piedmont are gonna be the first priority, and then after that, these smaller states as well, Parma, Medina, and Luca. Though it looks like I will need a rival if I'm going to do that. So let me see who I can rival right off the bat. Looks like Ottomans will work, will rival them. Actually, no, Greece will gain me even more influence if I do them, so I guess we're doing them. We'll unpause, and we're pretty much gonna do nothing until we get nationalism. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can pass any government reforms, though none of this is really gonna matter because of an event that comes later in this playthrough. I'm gonna try and get religious schools going, I believe, and then also potentially charity hospitals. So in order to do that, I threw the Catholic Church into the government. Yeah, pretty much at this point, the only thing we really need to do is start getting the Italian states to like us quite a bit and try and get them into our customs union. And there we go, religious schools right off the bat. That was actually super easy. All right, so now that that's done, I also want to take charity hospitals just so we can have a little bit higher of standard of living. I'm also probably just gonna go ahead and take uh, high taxes so I can get to building up my economy a little bit faster. Also probably going to do some road maintenance in places I plan to build in. And I'm gonna encourage manufacturing here and then probably just start taking some consumption taxes so I can get even more money to build even more stuff. Okay, my relations with the Pope are almost 50. At that point, we'll probably do some shenanigans and try and get them into our market. So let's see. So they're minus 57 right now. Let's try and get them in with a trade agreement first by spamming a bunch of exports at them. And full exports. Well, let's see if they're more willing. We can get a trade agreement. Still no customs union, unfortunately. Oh, they want to enter a defensive pact? Let's take that. That will do it. I could join their customs union, but I really want them in mine. An alliance? Sure thing, buddy, you got it. All right, so I probably just need to get my relations up with the Papal States a little bit more. They're genial towards us and they're amicable, okay. And there we go, charity hospitals as well. That's gonna give us a little bit higher standard of living. All is good. Now let's see, what else can I pass? Can I get rid of this uh, policing law? I'd like to move to dedicated if possible. Who supports that? It's the armed forces. Uh, we'll see if we can get lucky with it. Okay, so I think the only thing preventing us from getting the papal state in our union is the fact that we're not a major power yet. Also, dedicated police force. I will take it. Since we only need a little bit more prestige, I think I'm going to build up my military just a bit so I can cross the threshold. There we go. That should, in theory, be enough. We're gonna need a pretty big military later anyway, so building up now is not a bad thing. Okay, 91, we need at least 95 to be a major power, so just a few more barracks, this should do the trick. Come on, give me a little bit more. I want just a little bit more prestige. Come on, I know you can give it to me. I know you want to, you're holding back on me. All right, that's one, I need, I need more than that. Now it's up to 97, you're going too slow. Go faster, go better, go, I don't know, just do it, do it, give me what I want, please, thank you. Okay, let's see, would they join my customs union? They would not. Like I say, it looks like I just need to become a major power and a lot of these states will join my customs union. So hurry up, 93 of 97, we're four off. We can do it, I know we can. There we go, major power. Can I get the Pope in now? Oh, we got uh, colonialism. We can get the Pope in, let's do it. Oh, I'm an obligation, that is fine. And let's see, how close are we to getting Tuscany? Looks like I just need to spam them with trade routes. So here we go again, export, boom. This is an intended feature of this game, believe me. This is what the devs wanted you to do to improve relations with countries. Throw everything you have at them. <laughs> and they'll be so happy with all the free stuff they're getting. They're on their way to becoming friendly with us. All is good, as of right now, anyway. Our market is looking solid right now, and we've got good relations with France as well. I also want to improve my relations with Prussia and Russia too, because they will be very useful in the fight against the Austrians later. Boom, now we got good relations with France. Everything's looking solid. 
All right, 30 more months until nationalism's done. I can do that, I can do that. Oh, the Ottomans are, oh, ooh, we got a trade agreement from France. Yes, sir, I will take that. Yes, please. Let's get our relations with France all the way up because they're gonna be a very valuable asset in taking back our Italian lands from Austria. Huh, Hanover formed the Confederation of the Rhine. Fair enough, good for them. Great job, everyone, you did it, you're the best. Good job, Hanover, we're best friends now. All right, quite a few radicals right now, but honestly, it's not a bad thing because in a minute, you'll get to see the special radical maneuver. France is bankrolling me, huh? Now they're not, now they are, cool. Thank you, France. I like bankrolled. Austria, have you made any dumb alliances? You made a defensive pact with Russia. Screw you then, bruh. Loser boy. Oh, they might join once they become friendly. That's actually really close. I was not expecting to get Sardinia first, but hey, I'll take it. They're a very strong individual. Only 14 months until nationalism now. GDP is going up pretty strong. I like to see it. Oh, I can get uh, Sardinia in my customs union. Let's do it. No obligation. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm losing my great power status. Why did I? Uh, I just had 105. What happened? Did the intelligentsia get mad? Bitches. All right. I guess we'll do this in for a moment then. Well, they're not as mad now, so that's cool, I guess. Oh, wait. I can fix this. Boop. That's a pack with France. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I had 105. You guys stop it. Boom. Let me just make you approve of me. That works. Losing a little bit of money, but it's fine. GDP is at 5.2 mil. We're cooking. All right. How's our market looking? We got Northern Italy and we got Middle Italy. We're just missing the Tuscan portions of Italy right now, which is actually pretty good. Change our customs union. Yes. Parma. Mm, they won't do it yet. What about Luca? They will. Change our customs union. All right, and we just got nationalism. So now we got the Risorgimento. Uh, I have no idea what that means, but I'm going to assume it means something like resurgence because I don't know language and whatnot. All right, so I believe the only difference between these two is who you make like you because with the top one, it's the armed forces, uh, trade unions, petite bourgeoisie, and intelligentsia, and then on the bottom one, it's the more like rural folk, the church, and the landowner. So I'm gonna take the top one. We got the risorgimento now. Uh, for this, honestly, I'm probably just gonna do, uh, I don't know really. I think military is probably the way to go because we are gonna have to fight a war with Austria eventually. We wanna fight a defensive war. So I'm gonna do field works, and then we're gonna try and get just better dudes. So now we have the risorgimento activated. As you can see, we got one possible action right here. So I'm going to click on that and we can see that we have encouraged Italian nationalism. Basically, the only thing this does, it encourages the Italian pops in Austria to become more radical. Just always take this whenever you got it. You heard Austria and eventually you're going to trigger a secession and that'll be very nice because you can get involved in that and then defend them and then eat them later. So we're going to do this. And now we also have down here within our North Italian and South Italian states, we have 550k radicals. Out of a total Total population of 7.19 million, representing 7.64% of our Italian population. Reaching 25% will lead to the seizure of the Sicilian government by the Pan-Italian revolutionaries and the instatement of a democratic republic. So basically what this means is if our radicalism gets high enough, the people will overthrow it and then we'll get to become a republic. This is something I want to do. So in my opinion, the fastest way to get our radicals up this high, because it is kind of, you know, it can be kind of hard getting your radicals up. Uh, the best way I found to do it is just add a buttload of consumption taxes and just keep changing your taxation level from low to high over and over and over. So we'll do that until the standard of living goes up and then we'll take it back down or I guess take our taxes back up once it goes up and just back and forth and you'll see that we start to staircase in radicals. All right, that went up. So now tax is going back up and we're gonna piss off a bunch of people. I'm also, in the meantime, I'm gonna create a government that is just completely unacceptable to everyone by just throwing in a bunch of random people in there. And that's gonna also make our radicals go up. Yes, I know my government's illegitimate. I did that on purpose. Oh, it's, it's slowly progressing down. I wanted that to go a little bit faster, so we're gonna turn all this down as well. No one's getting paid anymore. No more money for anybody. It's all for me. I get all the money. There we go, it's starting to climb now. Yeah, we need this to be 25% in order for the takeover to happen, which is quite a lot of radicals and it can be kind of hard to get up there, but we'll, we'll get it eventually. 
Here's another thing that will happen. Uh, we would get these unification pop-ups. So I believe it's people in our customs union uh, and have a high opinion of us will just decide to join with us. So we pick this top one and we get to annex them. And if you choose the bottom one, you just get relations improvement. Don't take the bottom one, take the top one because you also get to instantly incorporate it and it just makes everything better for you. See that? Easy. Only problem is that also increases how many radicals we need to trigger the Resurgimento. All right, radicals are going up now. We'll let that go until it plateaus. In the meantime, we'll just keep on building stuff. All right, looks like it's starting to plateau about now, so time for taxes down. We'll get a bunch of loyalists, and then we'll go taxes back up. And hopefully this will shoot it back up, at least in theory. Monument to the King, more radicals, yes please, I want radicals right now. There we go, that's a big spike, that's the spike I was looking for. Now we can do it again. Taxes back down, and taxes back up. We got a million radicals now. How many do we need? We're about halfway there, so let's do it again. And back down. We're gonna give our uh, economy whiplash, you see. GDP continues to go up regardless. Alright, alright, it went back up, time for... Taxes to go up. See, in a normal game, you're not supposed to do this, but there's a uh, active benefit for me doing this, so I want to do it. Bessemer process, yippee! We shall Bessemer all over the process. Ha ha! Boink. All right, they're mad again. All right, we're getting close now. Now we do want to make sure that we don't go too far over, because I have noticed that um, the game does not account for going well beyond how many radicals you need. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. You might have to do some management if you get too close. All right, then they're back down and we're gonna go back up again. It's like a weird uh, game. I don't know, I don't know how to describe this. This, uh, this is just pissing people off simulator and I'm very good at pissing people off. Come on, go back up. I wish it was more quick, but meh. It's okay. Hey, you need to go above that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Go higher. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We're getting close, but we're not there yet. So we gotta give people more, more money whiplash. We're gonna take all your money. No more money for you. See, normally radicals are a bad thing. And honestly, they probably still are. But hey, look at our economy. It's going up quite a bit, actually. Huh. All right, back down. And back up we go! Uh, Italian nationalism again. We can see in these states are starting to get some turmoil. Come on, go back down. Go back down. There we go. Oh, but we're so close. All right, I guess we'll do it again. All right, it's back up. Hopefully this is the last time we need to do this. In theory. Yeah, get more radical. All right, all right, we're getting close now. We're getting really close now. We're 98.1, so I'm gonna let it chill and just tick up slowly from this point. Is that if you go too far above 25, it just won't trigger. Come on, 24.8, 24.9. There we go. All right, event. The tri-colors over Naples. We get a lot more loyalists and we get to get a lot of different laws. We get appointed bureaucrats, we get census suffrage, and we get parliamentary republic. This is the easiest way to get rid of monarchy in this game, at least uh, other than like civil war. So government, we're going to, well, I guess we can't reform the government yet. We're gonna go back to a reasonable amount of taxes. We gotta wait for the election to go down and invite to Customs Union. We'll grab Tuscany, solid. Now we're only missing Medena, but I do believe Medena has decided we are uh, historic rivals, so they're gonna be a little bit harder to take care of than everybody else was. All right, come on, election happen so I can get a good government. Please, thank you. Up, oh, they're gonna start a coup. That's fine, it'll, it'll get fixed in a second. I'm pretty sure I just have to kick them out of the government. I just kick them out of the government, and we'll just do that, and then we can just put them right back in. Easy. And that just decreases their power. So we're solid. We're solid. Everybody's mad here, so I gotta do something to make them a little bit happy. We'll leave everything as is for right now. So now it's time to start grabbing these Italian states again. They're just, man, they just hate us right now. Medina wants nothing to do with us. Ooh, Austria blew up. And apparently I don't have an interest in the region. So I can't even, like, get in on that. That's sad. I'm sad. SMH. GDP's going pretty strong right now, though. Okay, so at this point, we are pretty much just waiting for all of the Italian states to voluntarily join us. I believe the trigger for that is that they have to actually have a nationalism. I come over to the Cultures tab and go to Italy, Form Italy, uh, exactly 100% of eligible countries has researched nationalism. So that means all of these countries down in here have to, you know, research nationalism. As of right now, only 66% of them, so... 
I believe there's six, that means there's two more that need to do it. If this Austrian liberal revolt actually wins, yeah, that's gonna be good for us because it'll kick uh, Luca out of their customs union. I think the Austrian liberal revolt should be able to do it because this is landlocked. I don't know what they're gonna be able to do. Hey, unification with Tuscany, let's go. This is what I was looking for. Boom, and then we just get another one. We're solid, we're solid. We're gonna go up even higher in GDP. We're 10 million club, let's do it. Double defensive pact with France, this is solid. These guys are still very, very angry. They'll be fine. Our president is an authoritarian preacher. Damn, that's a little rough, but it's okay. I would like to get into something slightly better here, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do that yet. Oh, let's go. Austria's gonna lose her capital and then lose the war. Ah, uh, yes, let's go, Austria, you pain in my side. Get dunked on, idiot. Very good, very good. Okay, I need Parma to exit the customs union. Or, I, sorry, Medena, not Parma. Parma's already in mine. How many more countries need to form? So we're at 60 now, so I ate one that actually had it. Now there's only five. There's two more that don't. Oh, they're losing handedly. Minus five and minus one. Oh, it's beautiful. I love seeing this. Come on, cook them. Cook them. Let's go Austrian liberal revolt. We'll be best buddies. They're a military dictatorship. Hmm, that doesn't sound very liberal. They do. Natural enemy modifier. It's always there. It's always there. Maybe we just make them a protectorate and be done with it. Let's see, what level of power are they? Hmm, they're a minor power, so they could get somebody. They're halting our growth. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Let's make them a protectorate. If you're gonna see me as an enemy, I'm gonna become your enemy. How about that? Hmm? Doesn't look like anybody's gonna come to their aid. I want your stuff, because you're being an ass for thinking I'm evil. So now I'm gonna be evil. You brought this on yourself, really. I don't know what you were thinking. I need to build some coal. Get him! There we go. I didn't want to have to fight you, but you made me, because you didn't want to be peaceful. SMH. Get them! Attack! The wishes is for enter their customs union. No, thank you. I need my own. I, I have ambitions of greatness. I will not bend my knee to you. We will be friends, but I will not be your pet. Not into that. Here we go. Easy enough. That gives us the entire Sicilian market. That's all of Italy. Excellent. Now improve relations again, and now are you still gonna be a little whiny baby? Nope, now you're loyal. Yeah, now you like me that I beat you up. That makes plenty of sense. All right, let's try and get back to uh, building stuff. How about it? Racial segregation, ooh. I would like to do that, actually. We'll try it, might as well. I think these guys will be a little bit mad, but it's okay, they can suck an ass. All right, building, we'll set that to there. Oh, filing cabinets, that almost fixes it. All right, I want one there. Oh, it progressed on the first tick, okay. Not bad. We're just getting all the good laws today. There's one more nation that still hasn't got nationalism yet. I wonder who it could be. I actually don't know. Dang, we're actually, we actually might pass this. I've gotten lucky twice. Okay, we'll take it. Russia is at war, huh? With America? Why did you, you're, you're backing up. Good job, Russia. You're, you're actively like getting nothing done with that. Oh, hello, Heavenly Kingdom. How are you doing? You couldn't... Can y'all not make border gore? Please? Thank you. Hey, central banking. We can now bankroll people. Let's bankroll our uh, pesky little puppet down here who hates us. Pros or causes uproar. Let's just do the top one. Neckman success chance 28% is solid. Still 43% chance to stall. But I think this is gonna pass. Now I'm gonna say that and it's not, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Law debate failed. No, please don't fail. I was just singing your praises that I thought you were gonna pass. Now you're gonna be a little baby. Uh, Ionian Islands, no thank you. No thank you, I, I, don't, I don't need you. No thank you. Hey, encourage Italian nationalism. Now they got some turmoil. Let's go. Oh my God, don't do this to me. You're gonna fail twice and hit minus 20. We had, we had a 30% chance to pass. Oh cool, fertilizers. Very good! Love fertilizing things. I don't have any coal. That's a problem. Let's build one. I don't want to get stuck importing all my coal. I'd like to build some domestically. 
going down pretty nice. Interest, interest is getting a little bit high again. I might have to pause construction again. Come on, I'll just hope to get lucky. We'll get racial segregation. That sounds like a bad thing, but it's actually a step in the right direction from what we are now. Instead of hating everyone, we just hate. I'm not actually, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Nope, nope, I'm not, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Plus 10%. All right, look at this. It, it only takes us like half a year. No, not even half a year. It's actually pretty, it's pretty fast on the debate. Just don't get another setback. You can't get setbacks at the voting process. That's BS. It's like sieging something in EU4 and then like everybody dies at the end. I'm gonna pause and just let the investment pool start building stuff. Come on, pass this time, please. I believe in you. Amazing. Dude, I called it. I called it. Let's go. All right, now that we're not so discriminatory. Uh, so everybody in here is an accepted member of society. Excellent. Great Britain wishes to take on our debt. For an obligation? Sure, we got a lot of debt. Now we can get building again. I'm fine with that. I don't think Great Britain's really gonna need me for anything. I can just uh, ignore the obligation, I think. Okay, Russia, Prussia. We'll get our relations good with them. Um, reduce autonomy, I cannot yet until 57. Boo! You suck. I could get an alliance with France. That could be pretty nice. Still waiting on some slow poke to research nationalism. We got an election going on and it's still the landowners. Must have a lot of landowners in the government. Medina supports Italian unification. Finally. Does that mean I've got the last... Hey, I do. Okay, cool. So now the only thing we need to do is take some stuff from Austria. Now, I guess let's see who Austria has. They've got no defensive packs or alliances with anybody. So, in theory, we should be able to get quite a few people to help us in a unification play. Because I think, because they were a civil war, no one really has any good opinions of them. Prussia wants to take German unification from Austria, which they probably do. France just likes me in general. And then the Ottomans don't like them. So the only ones that could really be a potential issue are Russia and Great Britain. But Great Britain likes us. And yeah, Russia likes us. So in theory, we should be able to just gang up on them. Let's try this. All right, so we got our war, or we annexed all of them. Unfortunately, they're not incorporated. Kind of sad. I'm kind of kind of not happy about that. Now let's see who all we can actually get in here. Yep, as suspected, France will take an obligation. Prussia, Prussia also wants an obligation? They don't want, now who's stronger? Is it Prussia? I want Prussia so I can split the front line. I ideally want both, to be honest. They want, okay, so I'm gonna grab Prussia first for an obligation. Now they're here. And I could also do France and give them an obligation as well. And then they're gonna pull some BS and get like, I don't know, America to join their side or something. Fearful, just give in. Just give me what I want, please. Oh, is no one gonna join them? Oh, we get Russia too? <laughs> Let's do it! Everybody dogpile! <laughs> There's no way, dude, just give up. There's no way you're gonna be able to fight all this. Come on, come on. You're, you're capping if you think you're winning this. I think I can add another war goal. Okay, let's see. I don't think I have any. No, my reputation's still like really high or I guess really low. I don't have any infamy is what I'm trying to say. So let's see, can I add another war goal then? Conquer state. Um, let's see, I got Celta Roll and Istria. I'd like to take one of these other states. How much would Styria cost for, what about Tyrol? Tyrol, where's Tyrol? Tyrol is 18. Let's do Tyrol, that'll work. We will turn that into a primary because I want to fight them for this. Combine some of my military armies over here. All of you become skirmish infantry. All right, we should be able to win this being three superpowers in me against everybody else. Let's go. All right, so they're just not gonna mobilize troops. Is that what we're seeing? You guys are gonna get pushed into. I wonder if I have an advantage here or not. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Gary Baldy! Let's go, we get Gary Baldy. Now where did he go though? He probably went to this army. Yep, he did. Okay, mobilize and send here and continue to be defense until we get an opening. Are you guys gonna like send any troops there? Or are you just gonna let yourselves get beat? You've sent nothing. What, what, uh, 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 you guys are not mobilizing your troops. Come on, I need your help if you wanna win. All right, looks like I have an advantage here. So I'm gonna push. You know, leave this front open. I'm gonna punish you for it. We'll force them to act. Attack! All right, let's see, do we get the numbers? Dang, why is their, their defense is so high? But I won here. 
Oh, let's go carry Baldy cooking them. Unlike here though, we're just cooking ourselves to death. Buddy, don't attack unless you have like, you know, really high odds. This is a very fundamental warfare rule. All right, how about here? Oh, let's go. He's pushing them. Gary Baldy, you are the best. Holy crap, man. You're, you're so much better than everybody else at this. And I don't know what my allies are doing up here. They're being like total idiots. France isn't even mobilizing. France, we have a defensive pact. You're supposed to help me. All right, we do have a pretty sizable advantage now, so we just need to keep pushing here. There's France, they finally showed up. Let's go. Riles up the peasantry. Uh, to tone down is no, no, we, we're going big Gary Baldy. What? Why is their defense so damn high? Let's keep throwing troops at him. Come on, France, get in here. Get in here, start, start clapping cheeks. There's plenty of cheeks to go around. What's going on up here? You guys are still doing nothing. What happened to all your manpower, Russia? Are you bringing more troops in? You haven't fought, like, any battles. How are you already, like, all dead? Italian nationalism. There's France. Kicking ass. Here's me. I don't know what I'm doing. Why would you attack with that few people? The generals are gonna be autonomous, and they're gonna, they're gonna do a bunch of stuff and they're gonna be all smart. No, these guys are fucking idiots. They don't know how to run warfare. Not in the slightest. You do not attack unless you have, like, a two-to-one advantage. And if, if you get in a battle, you just retreat if you think you're gonna lose. That's what you do. You don't fight it till everybody's dead, idiot. I wish I could, like, give them that discrepancy. Like, hey, don't be this much of an idiot. All right, I'll just let France push. France has got it. France is based. Unlike Prussia and Russia up here, who I don't even, you're not even mobilizing, sir. You got like 80K troops, you could stick on the border, you could win. I, I would have offered you a war goal, but you didn't want it, you just wanted an obligation. So now that you got it, you're just like not gonna be actually helpful. That's okay, I see how it is. Oh wait, I forgot to pause my construction. Oops. White piece, eat your own ass. Let me make sure I've got, okay, so that's good. France is doing the work for me now. I did I did the beginning work and now France is gonna do the rest of it. Let's go France. He's cooking them. I just need my manpower to come back. France keeps the herd on them. Ooh, wait, no, we got, we got such a massive advantage on this front. I'm joining. Join the push. Yes. Oh, this is what I wanted to see. Oh, demolish them. They're not bringing troops over. All right, so it doesn't even matter that they're not gonna do their job over here because we got all of our war goals. We're just slapping Austria right now. Oh, it's beautiful. They can't stop us. They're not, they're, the AI is too dumb. They won't bring their troops over. They'd rather push it as, would you guys mobilize? What are you doing? Russia, what happened to you? Why do you have zero manpower? That's okay. I should almost have my entire war goal, right? Dude, I almost have their capital. What's going on? Yeah, there's no way I don't have all the war goals. Sir, sir, you should, we have your capital. Capitulate, huh? What do you mean? What other war goals are there? What's going on? Oh, there they go, finally. I was about to be panicking, bro. Yeah, cook them. Get in there, Gary Baldy. We're gonna wreck Austria right now. Let's do it. They can't stop us. They thought they could. These are idiots. Too dumb to think. I want everything. Give it all to me. You will give me everything, and I will owe obligations to, like, everybody, even though they didn't do jack shit. Oh, what's this? Gets offense and defense, let's do it. Gary Baldy's gotten better. I just want to like occupy all of Austria. Just demolishing them all. There we go. That's kind of ugly. I probably shouldn't have taken Tyrol. It makes my borders dumb. But hey, this is it. We just took everything. We get all of the Italian states. All 17, 17 of 17. We did it. Time to form Italy. Boop. Viva Italia. We are now Italy. Did that incorporate our states for us? No. Oh, we got Rizigramento finished. Did that incorporate our states for us? No. I see how it is. We can get an alliance with France now. We are beautiful-ish Italy. If we took like Switzerland, maybe we'd be more beautiful. I wish the state was not like this, but it's okay. We have won. We beat Austria. We are very strong now. Uh, they still have quite a few troops, but now we can build up as much as we want. All right, so that is forming Italy in Victoria 3 after the last update. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, to beat Austria, you're going to need to call some major powers into the war. And one of the ways that they let you do that is if you come down to the journal entry and you see decisions, we can see the Treaty of Turin. So basically what this is, is you give up this state right here, Savoy and Italian Provence, 
and if you do that, you get an obligation from France and you can call them into a war against Austria. That's kind of like the developer's intended way to beat Austria, but I find that you really do need more than just France to beat Austria, because defense is a bitch in this game now. But yes, that is going to do it for Forma Italy in this game. They made it so much better after the last patch, because in the patch before, it was, it was awful. You could not form Italy without fighting Austria, but now you can, and it's also much easier to actually take the states to get, like, all of Italy. So, I hope you all found this educational and enjoyable, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.